Pathfinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com series on upgrading from Windows XP to Windows 7. In the last segment, we had begun the install process and arrived at this part where we select the drive where we want to install Windows 7. I've selected it, now I'll click Next, and now the Windows install has begun. Windows 7 is copying files, expanding files, it's going to install features and updates, and then it's going to complete the installation. Keep in mind that the length of time it will take to install Windows 7 will vary depending on the size of your hard disk, the amount of RAM you have, the speed of your processor, and some other factors. You can see down here there is an installation progress meter that gradually moves its way across. So we're going to sit here quietly and watch Windows 7 be installed. We're closing in on 97%. And now Windows 7 is going to reboot. You can see that it's starting Windows. Setup's updating the registry settings. Now it's starting up services. And it's getting ready to complete the installation. Setup's going to restart the computer again. Once again, it's starting Windows. Setup's preparing to run the computer for the first time under Windows 7. It's checking the video performance. Now here we are. We need to select a username for ourselves. I think I'll be Doc. You can also give your computer a name that's meaningful to you. For this purpose, I'm just going to leave it at the default doc-pc. I'm going to click Next. Now it needs to type the password. You have to make sure that it's at least eight characters. And an interesting thing, if you don't put in a clue, the next button won't be available. So you need to put in a clue, even if you put in a few letters. Click Next. Now we have to put in our product key. You'll pardon me while I do that. Once you put in your product key, you can also elect to activate Windows when it goes online. Click Next. Now we're going to pick our settings. Let's use the recommended settings to install recommended updates and make your browsing safer. Now we automatically go to the next screen, which is our time. I'm in the central time zone. Check the time. Make sure that's correct, and it is. The date's correct. I want it to adjust for Daylight Savings Time, so now I'll click Next. Now Windows is finalizing the settings, giving us a little welcome, and it's preparing our desktop. And here we are, alive in Windows 7 for the first time. Now in the next segment, we're going to talk about restoring the settings and files that you backed up with Easy Transfer. Keep in mind this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all of the parts.